I know most of you are familiar with the fillet command. On the left hand side, if you go to your modify, in the sub column, you go down to fillet. Then you tell Caddy, okay, when it comes to your trim, neither or both, and you give it a radius. But then you have to indicate the first line and the second line. So new to Caddy 27 is that if you've got a polyline, now as you can see, this is an open polyline, and I'm going to make use of these closed polylines, is that you can ask Caddy to auto fill it the corners for you. So I'm going to select the polyline, as you can see in the object properties, Caddy confirm polyline one. I'm going to right click CSM, we go down to polyline, and then at the bottom, you see a new announcement to 27, is that auto fill it polyline. So I'm going to click on the command, Caddy will ask us what is the radius, in this case it's going to be 40 millimeter. I'm going to say OK, and as you can see at each and every corner, it did apply my fillet with a radius of 40 millimeter. When it comes to a close polyline, as you can see in this, just presents a base plate as well as a table mounting plate. So as soon as I select this closed polyline, I can right click, go down to polyline, and ask Caddy auto fillet polyline. Give it a radius of 40 millimeter. I'm going to say OK and it did all the corners. But what I like about it is, it's in a loop. As you can see, Caddy ask us, indicate the polyline. So now I can go to the next polyline, indicate the next polyline. So once I'm done, E for end, press escape, and there's my new fillet command applicable to your open or closed polylines.